On the screen here, you see a set of images that were obtained with a special cardiac MRI sequence known as 4D flow. 4D flow represents the measurement of blood flow in all three directions over time, the fourth dimension. I am a cardiologist that specializes in cardiac magnetic resonance imaging. How do we best determine the health of the heart? Is it just the size or squeeze of the heart? Or is it something else, particularly for some of the complex patients that we take care of? In this video, you see a model and flow representation of someone with a single ventricle heart. This is a patient who has a congenital heart defect that results in one main ventricle or one pump. This patient has undergone a series of cardiac surgeries already, resulting in a bi-directional blend where the blood flow into the lungs is supplied by the veins connected to the head and arms, the superior vena cava. This set of images is obtained as part of planning for the next operation, which is the Fontan procedure, connecting a conduit from the inferior vena cava, the vein connecting the lower part of the body and the legs into the gland thereby creating a circulation where both the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava drain blood directly into the lungs. Now, when all the blood flow is passively flowing into the lungs with that kind of circulation, the health of the heart pump is very important. And we are investigating ways of measuring that beyond uh, the size and squeeze of the heart. So for example, we can look at the blood flowing through the heart and represent it in the form of streamlines as shown here. And so in this video here, you can see that the view of the heart is now altered so that you can see both the ventricle here, the pump, as well as the atrium, the chamber that is on top of the ventricle, as well as the blood flowing in between there, which is across what's called the atrial ventricular valve the common valve that separates out between the two chambers. You can see the blood flow here is nice and laminar. It's nice and smooth. And on contouring of the vortex, you can see that there is a ring-shaped vortex that forms when the heart fills up. This is what we would expect to see in a relatively healthy single ventricle heart. How does this look like when the heart is unhealthy? This is an unhealthy single ventricle patient with a condition known as atrial ventricular valve regurgitation or leakage of the common valve that separates the atrium and the ventricle. You can see from the blood flow here that when the heart squeezes, there is a jet of leakage that shoots back into the atrium that is also represented by the streamlines here as well as from the other perspective here. And this seems to result in significant changes in the blood flowing in the atrium. In fact, even on the model itself, you can see that the atrium is a lot larger than what we would expect. This is also represented by the contours as shown here, where you can see that when the heart squeezes, there is significant alteration of the way blood flows in the atrium. These flow characteristics that we're visually seeing can also be measured. And my research is to focus on those measurements to see if there is a way we can measure the degree of vortex formation, the degree of energy loss that happens in the atrium as potential measurements of heart health. And basically use these measurements to potentially determine the health of single ventricle patients and use this to guide management, particularly in patients before the Fontan procedure.